guys it's your girl Jay back with another video in today's video we're gonna be touring LaGrange College today so today is gonna be a very fun and exciting video before we get into this lit video y'all I want y'all to go on ahead and like comment and subscribe to my channel make sure you punch that notification bell so that way you are aware of when I post the videos y'all so without further ado let's get right into it Okay, y'all, before we start walking, I am pausing this video right now and giving y'all 10 seconds. 10 seconds. So go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to this video and hit that notification bell. The clock starts now. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? The show starts in 10. Okay, so I'm about to walk outside. As you can see, the stairs over here that leads towards the middle of the field, and then here are the stairs that I'm about to walk down. It's a very nice day out here, y'all. And you can see my shadow right there on the ground. Here is the CEB gym, where all of the basketball players practice and play most of the time, I guess. Here is Hawkins Hall, where I live now. And this is a big field, y'all. And across the way, that's Candler Hall, where the other upperclassmen lives. And as you can see, I'm about to walk up three steps and about to walk up some more steps in a couple of minutes. You will be prepared to see me walk up a lot of steps. So I'm definitely getting my steps in today. You can see that there are leaves on the ground and it is in the middle of fall, almost the winter break. And also, I just wanna let y'all know that this video is just now getting on YouTube because my last couple of weeks before I went back home has been super busy and I haven't really got a chance to edit anything like that. So my apologies in advance, but yeah, it's finally here on YouTube, y'all. So I really hope you enjoy this video. But anyways, I'm about to be walking for a little bit so I'm just going to speed ramp this and I'll come back to you when I'm there at the steps. Okay, so we're back here at the stairs. Oh, look, there's Deja. She's part of the LC cheer squad like I am. I cannot wait for our season to start. What I'm now showing you is where people come to fellowship and be one with God. For those of you out there who believe in God, you know. And as y'all can see, the fellowship of Christian athletes. And the reason why it says fellowship of Christian athletes, I really don't know the whole meaning of the name, but this is a Christian school. So that's why it is there. Okay, so this is the area where the freshmen and sophomores live. And right here where I'm showing you, it's a place anyone can sit and relax between classes and enjoy some lunch from the hill or even study, whoop do whoop whoop, okay? Um, this is Turner Hall where the freshmen and sophomore live. And it is also the boopy I showed y'all that in the previous video. So make sure you go and check that out if you're interested. But we're just gonna direct ourselves over here and we're gonna be going up some more steps. And yeah, so I'm going to show you all the campus mail room and everything else that's in this building. right here this door is to the panther connection store y'all see my reflection and the store is closed currently 
It is open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. And that day was a Saturday. So I can't go directly in there. So I'm headed to the mail area where we can all get our mail and stuff. And like I stated, all this beautiful bean footage was shot in fall before the winter break with the fall decor, everything you see here. And right here is the campus store where I'm showing you behind the cage. And this is where we pick up our mail and stuff. And what I'm showing you is where the sports schedule when, where, and what time the athletes are playing as well as who they are playing against and things like that. And this is just a motivational area to stay motivated, stay positive, which is very important to do. Hopefully y'all are being motivated in this present time. You got the food drive and then you got some stuff going on at this at Clyde House party. This is where we all have our mailboxes. My mailbox is 951, which I'm about to show you in a second. Let me see if I have something. Don't know if I have anything. Sometimes I'm lucky, sometimes I'm not. Well, I have no mail today. I'm about to go to the dining hall to get something to eat because I haven't eaten breakfast yet. Walking in here, this is the cafeteria where everybody can eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and all of that great stuff. You are seeing the floor because I'm trying not to make anybody uncomfortable. I don't need anybody coming at me for recording them eating. I guess I could just briefly show you what they have here at this food section in the best way I can possibly. Well, I haven't found anything I want on that side, so I'm just gonna go over here and get some pancakes and chicken strips so I'm trying not to make the lunch loading uncomfortable with my camera that I have here. So yeah. This is what I have here. So I have some chicken strips with two pancakes. I have some syrup and some ketchup and some apple juice. I'm gonna eat and get right back on when I'm ready. Okay, bye. I just got finished eating and now I'm going to show you the Frank and Laura Lewis Library. I'm walking up here to the library. It's still such a nice day outside. It's not even cold. You don't even need a jacket or a coat. It's like a summer day in the fall. Okay, so I'm here at the library. You know I don't have to explain as you can see. Y'all know what a library is. And this is the Panther Cafe where you got the Starbucks here and you got all of the important educational information slash virtual events that's going on currently. And then up here at the top is where the computers and other books are and where the students go into a private study room by themselves or even with their peers. Okay, so I'm going to show you basically where the other freshmen and sophomore live.
so this is where um they live this is Pitts Hall. However, they are occupying Pitts as a COVID-19 isolation, you know, where faculty, staff, or students test positive and are sick and are being quarantined 100% contactless from others. Like, you can't have no contact with other folks whatsoever. The only people who are authorized to be in the same space are the nurses and the people bringing the food, so on and so forth. These are a bunch of buildings. This is Hawks Hall, where the other freshmen and sophomores live. I'm pointing now to is the other science building. I do forget the full name, so I can't think of the name right now. But this is the pathway where the students walk wherever they are headed to. I'm showing you again the Frank and Laura Lewis Library, the side view where we just came from not too long ago. I'm just going down these steps and just going to lead you to my next destination. Okay, y'all, straight ahead is just the bridge, the LaGrange College Bridge, and the steps here is leading to the curb where you can cross the street. However, I am crossing the bridge and we are over top of the cars below us. I will be going down these stairs so it can be easier instead of trying to wait for the cars to stop. So that makes more sense instead of waiting. I'm just waiting across the street now and I obviously have to wait at this point. As you can see, the cars are just driving by and I am at a four way intersection. I can cross the street now, so yay! I'm not going to go too far, so I'm just going to show you all the areas that I'm familiar with at the places I am taking my classes at. If y'all want to know, I am taking two DCMF classes, a sculpture class, a music class, and a Spanish class. So I'm taking five classes this semester. Just pray for me, y'all. I'm going up this path, going to the Price Theater, where I was doing work study, but I decided that I wanted to at least try and expand my other work study experiences. This is Price Theater, where they have had performances here. There haven't been too many performances due to COVID, but we have had a couple outdoors at a spacious location. Two of my roommates are theater majors, so they are here if not anywhere else on campus, if I'm not mistaken. They are here most of the time. I actually don't know specifically where else they go, but I do know that they are here majority of the time. Or if they are not here, then they are in Westside, which is across the street, and I will be showing you later in this video. So this is Price Theater again, and it's actually a really nice theater building outside and inside. Inside is really nice too. It has a lot of rooms, lots of theater stuff, some dance studios, a huge costume room, props room, and all that jazz. I'm just going to go ahead and let you all enjoy the view of my surroundings until I get to the Lamar Dodd Art Center. I'm not going to be going in, but I just want to show you all the building and the sign. I'm just going to zoom in right quick.
And then I'm gonna go down the steps across towards the other side, to west side. Over here is the nurses area where the nursing majors go to their classes. So you have the nursing majors, you have the theater majors, then you have the music majors and the DCMF majors in the same room that comes here to west side. If you already know, or if you do not know, I am taking Digital Creative Media and Film, or DCMF for short. That is my major, so I'm not really familiar with the whole building. So around this corner, this is where we are doing our cheer practices every Tuesday and Thursday from 5.30 to 6.30, or maybe 5.30 to 7 on some days. I will be posting a new cheer video ASAP so make sure you go check that out and also make sure you go check out my video where we supported the senior basketball team if you wish to do so. Okay so that is where I usually am majority of my classes. That is the LaGrange College marching band truck. I was going to be in the marching band but I decided that I wanted to do cheer again. So as you can see it is a ghost town. Nobody is over here. Like it's a quiet place over here. Surrounding this area is where the transportation buses are. To be real, I feel like I'm trespassing. I really feel like I'm trespassing. I'm getting a little scared, just a little bit. So this is a big feel, y'all, a big feel. This area is called the Fred and Ellie Hole Fielding. This is the basketball field, and I'm just gonna get a closer look. Yeah, it really feels like I'm trespassing. It just feels very weird. Like I'm gonna get caught or something. As you can see, this is a basketball field. And I guess this is where like the basketball players practice their pitch, I think, when they throw and catch. Okay, so this is a volleyball court. You can see nobody is there because you know COVID is getting in the way of everything. This is the Strike Beach volleyball court. That over there is the tennis court. I love playing tennis. That says Panthers over there, and then there is the football field. I don't know if y'all can see the little T thing. I guess that's what you call it, a T. And then where I'm pointing the camera to is where any sports injuries happen. There is a training room and everything else in there. Again, this is West Side, where I have all of my classes, or at least a majority of them. And then here's me throwing up the West Side gang sign. Let me stop before they come get me. So I'm headed back up to Hawkins to go back up the steps to my apartment because your girl is tired. She's been walking all day. And then we got our IDs, which gives us access to our residence halls, our classrooms, the cafeteria, or wherever else we need to go to. So I'm um, getting into the elevator. Don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of the day, but you all let me know in the comments down below what you're going to do today and all of that stuff or what y'all got planned for the week. We are out of here. Hope you liked this video. Hope it was entertaining in any way. Hope that I didn't bore you. It felt good to take a long walk, y'all. I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video so see y'all later